Hello, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We are heading towards the dwarves on this part. Let's, let's see how this goes. Last I remember, man, they, the dwarves are pretty tough. That's kind of why I seen them for last. I remember a long time ago, I had one playthrough. I went to the dwarves first, and of course, I don't have combat activated, and got wrecked. <laughs> During this fight, I got right. Ooh, where is she? She's being targeted by everything. I think so. Oh wow, well, I got taken out. Oh gosh, she's. I'm already getting wrecked. <laughs> oh my god. You ask your generation on him. Gosh. Is there, is there still more? Okay, no, okay. Gosh dang. <laughs> This is why I'm so cautious. I always get destroyed. <sighs> okay. Loot, 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 loot. I hate injury kits, I'm not gonna lie. I well the one big thing in like two that I loved was there's no more injury kits, no more injuries, none of that stuff. It shall be done. Besides the fact it's a lot faster pace. I know a lot of people don't like to, but I enjoyed it. I have a question it may be able to answer, Elder Mage. Must huh. it always be ending me? <laughs> <laughs> Did prefer mage well past her prime, don't mind the sagging bits. You wish to talk to me? I just should have clicked on that. One so well armed to notice a rogue merchant. Someone has to trade with other races. <coughs> we surfacers are Orzammar's lifeline, even if we're denied a cast in the assembly. I really do hate that about them. They still use the goods we bring. That's not right. Someone should do something. Maybe it'll change by the time my children are grown. <laughs> Twice a year, I'm confined to a trade stall in the commons, but I see enough. It's very closed in. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. Ah. Best of luck to you. Okay. Shoot, I wish I didn't click. I wanted to hear Shell just rail on win some more. Uh, 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 uh. Nobody's really here. Okay, cool. Oh, you're yellow. Can I interest you in something? 
I've got the finest selection of previously owned armor and weaponry this side of Val Royale. Uh, previously owned? I pay through the nose for new equipment when you can buy like new for much, much less. You just like... Here and there. Look, that's really not important. The important thing is, it's cheap. And just as good as what you'd find at a smithy. Alright, let's take a look at your confiscated goods, basically, that are pre-owned. That is a good axe. That's a good axe, yeah. Canary sword. Knight Commander's Plate. Oh, where'd you get that from? Grandmaster Solar. Okay. King Logain will not suffer the delay. Vieta. This land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the Point king. Pointed stick at the butt. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. They hide because they are dwarves. I would challenge any race to fare as well. Our king is dead. Enter Naidukin returned to the stone not three weeks ago. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. Civil war. Civil war. The wardens killed King Kaelin and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the assembly is authorized to address it. Bye bye. Letting in a traitor and a foreigner. In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. You will hear of this. Bye bye. We'll see you quartered. No, you won't. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Wolf. Though I don't know what help you will find. Uh, any. I got a team for being the bully. Can you talk to this guy to give him? Oh, I can't give him. Oh, they gave him like ten copper. Why do you refer to me as the elder mage? Clearly, because it is purple and a hyena. Then you simply wish to be perverse. Surely you're better than that. Okay. I have found that I'm allowed precious few amusements. Since so many prefer to call me Gollum, I enjoy referring to them in a similar fashion. Oh, very well. But could you at least use a different adjective? I do not wish my age to be my defining characteristic. As the fussy mage desires. Oh, I give up. <laughs> I know if I remember right, this could go either really quickly or take a long time. It is the assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowman was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. Not have Balin in sight of Ryan. Not speak that way about the man who should be king. Riot, 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 riot. Oh, no riot. Just, he just died, everyone just left. I'm like <laughs> that fool's dead.
Vieta, surfacer. I bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Yeah, yeah. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the diamond quarter if you want. Bunch of desert lords bickering over sand. Balin, Aromont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Surfacers appoint yeah. no paragons. Truly, you're lost in all that sky. <laughs> they are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperin, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Okay. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Bartag Gavorn in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Ah. Yes, you should. Bye bye. Okay, uh this way. Right. The elder mage watches me. I am reminded of a certain former master whose head I crushed, or so I'm told. Oh, I'm sorry, Shane. As you said. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's proving grounds. I hear there are all kinds of rules that govern the proving. They get very mad if you break the rules. Good day, stranger. Welcome to the proving arena. We're still closed until the fighters make their preparations, but come back this afternoon if you want to watch the show. Enjoy our grand city. Okay. Uh. No. No. Okay. I want sprint. Just go faster. Sprint was so nice. I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV on the side when I'm not playing one of these. And part of the reason why I get so behind in making videos. But. Uh, Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although mm -hmm. I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. We reside in trees, probably. My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Castle. Hmm. I pray here every day for my son Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for a safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. <coughs> he joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. Well, it's been five years since. That's been a while. Captains don't want to hmm. lose anyone searching for stray men. Too many were taken by dark spawn that way. Oh. So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company backing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good widow Hilda. We'll do our best. Please find me as soon as you return. I don't even know where we have to go, but uh, uh, well, I do. But I'm pretty sure you get to go to deep roads. Baker's blessing. I'm Brother Berkeley of the Red Moon yeah. Chantry. Returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. Oh. Petitioning to open a chantry in Forzenheim. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, there they Never mind. The shaper of memories has refused me so far. But perhaps with another advocate. Well, if you have a change of heart, let me know. I'll have to do Baker's it. Blessing, sister. I never expected to see you back. 
Is there something you see? Mm, not yet. But I have an audience with the Shaper this afternoon. The Shaperette must approve any large change to Orzammar's society. Without their blessing, the Maker's word will never be heard. Of course, the Shaper has heard my plea before. I doubt he'll change his mind now. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you. Yeah, yeah. He, she's right there. As much as it helped me. It's worth any trouble. Please let me know as soon as you've heard anything. Okay, so that is this town, tavern. Topsiders? Good. Hmm. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's huh. what Baylor stands for. I like you. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Do you have anything you're good? Uh. Oh. That's for attributes. I will probably buy that. Yeah, I will buy that right there. Oh, I, yeah, I got 24. Sweet. I need more. I need this. Right, hold on. I need. There's that over oh, here. I need magic. That's what I'm missing. Level up. Magic. Oh, it's only one point. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, it's 15 gold. Oh, goody, 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 goody. That is to Fargers Imports. Diamond cord, yeah, that's what I like for. Uh, excuse me, I, um, do you have a moment? Are you gonna tell me about the chantry? You look like you're not from around here. No. Oh, wonderful. I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface well. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the circle? Uh, yeah, yeah. Then I'm truly honored. I've never met an actual mage. Is it true you can manipulate nature's forces with your mind? Oh god, I found a fangirl. Don't let the glamour fool you, child. Wielding magic is a dangerous occupation. A great responsibility. Great friend. <laughs> I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. Uh. I want to go to the circle to study. I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. It would be a valuable exchange. Uh. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface. And the circle gains direct access to our knowledge of Miriam smithing. Oh, there's a reason right there. You're looking, You're looking for, for payment. payment. My father's shop refines lyrium for smithing. If you help me, I'm sure I could get you some. That would be wonderful. <laughs> My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smith Pass. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperium's Verticum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? She's so enthusiastic and adorable. I'm glad we're helping her. <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. God, I'm not going to go all the way back to the tower and ask. I got her stuff to do. Greetings, and welcome to Garen Garenson's luxury goods shop. <sighs> there are a lot of you, and I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? Uh, have a look at my shop. Right. I have some lovely things here. L L L Lyrium, in hand. 
La 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 la. Ooh. Ooh. I gotta look at his stuff again. Nah, that's just what he has. Let's see, I got a large, flawed lightning crystal. He's a perfect lightning crystal. I wish it would just show. Wow. What do you have, buddy? You have a small flawed natural crystal and large flawed ice crystal. Have you seen my bunch? It takes a piece of lichen bread to be spread whole cheese and shredded dry meat. No. I'm, I'm only asking because you never know who's going to get hungry. Uh right. best in the trade, you know. I work for my, myself. <laughs> I can tell. Okay, so mm. I'll do that. Okay. At least give him some better yep. gear with that. Alright, I'm not just wasting my. Yep. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. There we go. Fire and ice. And defense. You know, after all this is over, I wouldn't mind getting a job here. I could sing, tell stories, help the king get items from the high shelf. <coughs> I require a moment of time to take in this magnificent sight. I think this is where I need to go. Thief! Who would dare take from the memory? Gordon, I'm outraged. A uh, the shape. What have we been reduced to? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Ah, he's hmm. probably in a slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. But he couldn't be. Hmm. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. What, on magic? Because... I was looking for something about the Orton Tide. It was lost during the last Oops. flight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Orton. Really? It looks so exactly the same as the, the crazy fan, right? I'm not... Mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Orton, who was training in Orzammar when the tide fell. Uh... They even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records will be buried in the tide's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. From the surface, what do you know about fighting Dark Spawn? There aren't even any expeditions planned until they settle this election. Uh, Otherwise, we need special permission from the assembly or some great lord. 
I'm a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Tig, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Tig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could, maybe now that you're looking, it's almost too much to hope. Okay, well, yeah, I got that. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. Hmm. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. Yeah. I am Zebor, the shaper of memories. The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. Oh. Ask, and I shall do my best to answer. The Shaper it guards Orzammar's knowledge. Mm -hmm. We have preserved in Lyrium all of the records of Dwarven history, the memories record them. They are how we know to which family a child owes life, how we trace lost times. They ensure we forget nothing of our past, good or bad. That is an odd request, especially for one so new to our city. I mm. thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Burkle hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn 2,000 years of tradition? Hmm. What sort of charities do you mean? Mm. I am not certain this is in Orzammar's best interests. Our castes have served us well, but it's possible this service could benefit our people. Very well, he may hold a prayer meeting as he requested, if not build a new temple to his god. At least the words would come from one of our own. Now, is there anything more? Yeah, I don't know what the history of that worked. <laughs> Outnumbering even humans and elves, we traded with your uh. Imperium, and our land stretched as far in the deep roads as theirs did above. Cal Shirok was capital then, but we lost too many battles. We lost our golems, and we lost our territory. Now the Empire is simply ruined tunnels filled with darkspawn. The Paragon Caradon, a smith of unsurpassed mm. genius, invented the golems. For years they were our weapon against the Darkspawn. One golem is worth a dozen dwarves in battle. But Caradon's tig is far into the deep roads. When it fell, we lost his secret to creating golems. There are books about it along these walls if you would read more. Okay. They are to us what a colony is to surfacers. I will settle your mind if I can, Warden. All dwarves who die return to the stone as ancestors, to guide their families forever. But only one every few generations rises to Paragon. A Paragon is a dwarf whose accomplishments change Orzammar so much that the Assembly recognizes they've been born blessed. They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever bearing their name. Ah. Uh -huh. There is one paragon of this generation, a woman named Branca. She was born a smith, but her inventions caught the assembly's eye. Before she had seen 20 years, she created a smokeless coal. It could burn in a cave without vents and no one would choke from it. It earned her paragon status. Huh. She went into the deep roads two years ago, seeking out secrets of the ancient smiths. She never returned. Your gotcha. presence here has been recorded in the memories. I wish I knew what significance it has. Well, let's see, that's three, yeah, three different things that require me to go to deep roads, which I'm pretty sure 
It's like everything here is deep roads, deep roads, deep roads, deep roads. Hmm, so now... What's in here? You're in here. Warden, it is always a blessing for Orzammar to host you. I am Vartag Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Baden. What news do you think? <clears throat> Ancient documents indeed. These were signed in the reign of Eithnar Bimo, Paragon and King. Mm. That was 16 generations ago. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king. And we are sadly lacking one of those right now. Uh, of course. My prince is the rightful king, but a disappointing number of lords <coughs> to Paragon. If you show your support for Prince Balin. He might be able to assist with your requests. That hurts worse than all. The Paramount would take advantage of the dying king's delirium to plant such poisonous suspicions against his own son. After that, you understand why Balin cannot trust the word of a stranger, however reputable that stranger might be. Hmm. Hmm. Paramount has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if the neutral party, the stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Paramount's deception. Irrefutable evidence? Which I suppose you have? I'm oh, no. certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. Yeah. <laughs> Aramont promised the same portion of his estate to two different deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helm. Aramont can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Aramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both be considered their votes. Okay, okay. Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much, but Lord Helm is adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapsters in the Commons. Remember. Don't tell me about those papers from you. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. That is real suspicious. You don't let people draw their own conclusions. Nope. Mm -mm. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Forretta. Second to Lord Haramont. Mm -hmm. King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It's a shame that we are not in a better position to help. In an ordinary time, Lord Haramark would be honored. <coughs> We've already caught more than one of Balin's spies approaching Haramark under a pretense of friendship. Oh, of course. I, I hate Dwarven politics. If you want you will need to prove he can trust you. Hmm. Yeah. I see. Well, it hardly increases my confidence to hear that you went to him first. I assume you refused? <laughs> if you want Lord Haramont's assistance, first you'll have to prove he can trust you. That's a generous offer. Mean it, you might attend the proving today. The Deshers take it very seriously, and unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Haramont's best fighters into stepping down. Mm. That would be enlightening, though I hope you won't pry too deeply into things they don't wish revealed. If you wish to show your loyalty, Enter the proving as his lordship's champion. With your order's reputation, I've no doubt the ancestors would favor your arm. 
Thalen would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Aramont would have no fear of being put in the middle. Then I'm afraid your only choice is to wait until there's a winner. Lord Aramont cannot risk his life working with someone of unproven loyalty. Change your mind, let me know. The proving is this afternoon. And Lord Haramont could certainly use you on his side. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let's see something. Oops, that's face for A new offensive is required against the dark. What do you want? Ah, oh, I suppose you're the Grey Warden everyone's talking about. No, no, it's that guy. The big, the big rock guy. Well, this isn't exactly a surface broad sheet. Where did you get these? Never mind. It is true enough, but there's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. Hmm. He is leading a deep roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient tithe. It's unlikely Ugh. he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The day certainly would be in your death. He was searching an old Iduken site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. Does that mean you'll go? So Balin's victory means enough for you to risk your life. How interesting. I'm gonna play everybody if I can. Is the voice of tradition and stability. Two years tomorrow. I mm hmm. Or decided Balin. I don't remember. Bailin Haramont, Bailin Hair. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so, I've been hearing rumors that a certain mine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I, I can't imagine what you mean. I think I have time. Andraste teaches that patience is the child of wisdom, but I'm eager to mm. hear if you've seen the Shaper. Oh, praise mm. the Maker! You truly walk in the light. I already found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please, come to our first service. Okay. That's the dust town. Lord Denik Helmi, honored mm. desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? <sighs> but there are those like you who see this with concern, you no? Know? Well, I've taken the time to actually talk to the other cast. <gasps> you know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dishes if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Orzammar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. Me and 79 other fine upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege Inevitably wants more. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. They're not fond of my views on equality. I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond court in his life. But Lord Haramont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him a subtle <coughs> I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. 
What it is. Oh, well, I'd ask for proof or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it, I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the hmm. land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through yeah. the whole process of rejecting the deal. We'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. I'm sorry. I actually thought he was the better candidate. You must think I'm pretty sorry naive, huh? They're all the same. Well-dressed, blood-sucking cave ticks. I'll have to inform Mother that Lord Harrowmont hasn't bought our vote after all. Huh. What? That was true. Not a lie. Well. Let's see. I have to go all the way over. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, let's 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 do this first. I'm right by it. Let's go to Dust Town. Quick. Which it's going to Dust Town's combat situation apparently. I uh I think I just stepped in something. We must not Wow. There's a rich one. Right there, I think that's good. Uh, generation, I will die. Shell, smash. Back here, you bastard. Run away. Andrew Kits? Anybody? Andrew Kits? No Andrew Kits. Shoot. Quest. For you. You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Huh. You looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be uh, a bad opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Human kings, you hmm. know. They make these ridiculous laws. Like okay. about the to buy and sell Lyria. The sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the circle tower. I got a man named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of the stones way. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to say, sell you that lyrium instead at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can uh. keep it or, since you can travel freely from here, Sell it to Godwin, who you know is fine. And uh, if you bring back this return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. More so for someone uh. like you, I guess. Most dwarves born down here have a natural immunity. Other races, there are problems if they spend too long with the dwarves. The real issue is that Lyrium's value is only found mm. down here, and human mages can't work it out. As long as you keep your eyes down and your mouth shut, you've got no further business. Uh, huh. Do do do. Have you a coin to spare, my lady? It's for my son. He's sick. He 
he hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Here you go. That a stranger would care so much when my own family barred me from their halls unless I'm willing to. But no, I can't bear to even think of it. Uh. I wish there were. My name is Erlenda. I wasn't always like this. I was born to a mining caste family. We weren't wealthy, but I never went hungry before. Now it's all gone. And it's my own fault. Ancestors curse me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. What happened? I fell in love. He seemed so exotic, you know, tough and smart, and never had to bow his head to anyone. He was casteless. Uh... No, I know he was just trying to father a higher caste child so he could petition for status. But our child was a son, casteless like his father. My parents disowned me and stripped my caste from me. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Oh. I cannot abandon my baby. The shapers teach that only children of true lineage exist, not those born casteless. They never carry the child. He cries like any other infant and smiles when he's warm and full. I can't kill him because of an accident of birth. <coughs> An accident I forced on him? I heard as much. There was a man speaking on the street, talking about the human religion. Yeah, he yeah. He called himself a cleric. Said he could help me. Do you? Perhaps <coughs> I talk to him. I, I wouldn't know what to say. I know nothing of his chantry. He can help. My gratitude would be unending. Oh, yeah, that's uh, I can't believe a child. So okay, let's go to this house. Just walking around to people's houses. Hello, anybody here? I'm here to I'm here to take your stuff. Can you? Cause we got a lot of chests before. Oh, there's that one. Uh, my neck. So, I guess I wanna... Talk to... Open oh, this place here. Then... So if there's anything here, then I'll leave. Talk to the chantry guy and What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. Yes. Our business is kind of covert, if you know what I mean. It's illegal in Orzammar for me to engage in protected trade, but they look the other way if I share things with my friends for money. <laughs> Why don't you take a look? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Anything good? Anything good? Yeah. Bards. Mark four. Yeah, I really got that some. Oh, where's where I can prepare items? Shoot. That is a much better staff. I will keep that staff. Lots, lots, lots of yeah, I don't need these. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, well, I'm out of here, I guess. 
I head to the deep roots. Guy being robbed here a moment ago. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well, looks like we have a visitor, friend of yours. You get, get out of here. This is private business. Please don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. You don't know what I'm like. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the car to be <laughs> of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. Whoa, whoa. All right, you win. I'm not going to die for ten lousy sovereigns. I love my intimidation. Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. Mm. I don't know how to express my gratitude. Discount. I, I've never met her, of course. They say she never leaves dust town. That's uh, the older area of the city. <coughs> She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down. <sighs> I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford, I assure you. I... Oh, wow. you don't get much of anything, do you? Uh, I'll take this. And injury kits. So I will break my bones in deep roots. I already know it. Bump him. Bump him. Bump him. At least there are no pigeons here. <laughs> Hi. What's this? An elf? No, a human. I cannot allow you past the front lines without additional permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrol scheduled to leave today. Uh... I see you have his daughter's seals. I will not stop you. But be careful. It's because the beasts have pulled back from Ozama doesn't mean there are any fewer in the deep roads. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except it except during blights. <coughs> Save us if that's what's happening. Yeah. What anyone knows? She went out there with her entire house and she's never coming back. You don't think maybe she's still there, Commander? She is a paragon, after all. And now she's an ancestor. No one lasts two years in the tunnels. Of course not. Down here you find <coughs> giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other birds. Yeah. Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm. Hunting cats. <sighs> Watch out. Not afraid to take on a group their own size. Best of luck. Do to do. We're heading to the deep roads, and that's where we're going to end this. Oh my! I forgot how big it is. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to end it here. Have a good night, everybody. Please like and subscribe, and be safe, everyone.
Yeah, I just wanna be the greatest. Everybody knows my name, shit. I'ma have this whole fucking game list. Spitting with the same wit. And I'm gonna be famous. Ain't nobody able to delay this.